Welcome to a video from the digitallife.com. In this video, we're going to have a look at Windows 10 Mobile. This is build 10586, which could be the release version that goes out um, as the update to Windows Phone 8.1, and will probably be the version that the uh, new 950 and 950XL run. So this is effectively the well, RTM version, although Microsoft haven't really announced it that way, uh, as they haven't with any of the other builds. So what's new in this build? Well, there isn't actually a lot uh, new in this build because it's a release version. It's um, It continues from the previous builds, but there's a few things fixed in there and there is something to warn you about as well if you're going to be doing the upgrade. Um, so first let me tell you what's been fixed. So uh, the fixed issue with the start screen being corrupted when you um, restored a backup from a different version with a different phone with a different screen resolution that's been fixed. You can now manage your default save locations with the storage card, with the SD card, it doesn't show up garbled name and um, moving apps to SD card no longer causes apps to crash. They've moved, made some improvements to the message in Skype app um, available through the update. We can have a look at that. Uh, they say they've made some improvements to that. I haven't seen um, a, a lot really in there. Um, a lot of changes in there, but yeah, it's. I quite like the Skype, uh, the messaging integrated messaging app. I just think it, I wish it would do a bit more. It's a bit basic at the moment. So, but they haven't actually detailed what's changed in that. Uh, they said that we should see less resuming messages when switching apps, which I think is probably the case. This nine uh, thirty, this six thirty, uh, has only got uh, five hundred twelve mega RAM in it, so it's a bit on the slow side. So. I think you'd see better performance on a machine with more RAM, but that's good that they've uh, said that, and I think that's probably, like I said, I think that's probably the case. Uh, the physical camera button should now work, and this doesn't have one, so I can't show you that, and apps and games should load more reliably from the store. That was an issue I had with the, the previous build. Um, I'm still setting this one up, so I've got quite a few uh, still to download, but on the previous one I did see ones that kind of got stuck and then you couldn't get rid of them. Um, so these are the ones that currently need installing on this machine. But the reason why I'm, I'm in this state with... There you go, you see they're all pretty fast now. The reason why I'm in this state with a lot of apps to install is because of one of the known issues. If you installed the previous build, 10581, and then did a reset on that, which you generally do to get the best performance, uh, it actually uh, caused an issue with the corruption of the file system, which you didn't notice when you were using it, but it did cause a problem when you did the upgrade. So if you upgraded from a previous build, put 10581 and then didn't do anything else with it, then this wouldn't be an issue. But if you did a, re a reset, um, then it would, and that's exactly what I did, so I found the problem. So what happens is you just get this sort of weird um, booting loop after doing the the update and uh, it would flash up the Nokia logo and then nothing happened for a bit then the no logo would come back on and that, and that was it really so um, there's a couple of options you can do to get around that if you have got the problem you can use the Windows device recovery tool which I've used a couple of times now to put it back on Windows Phone 8.1 and then do the update or you can do the key press routine which is the what I did on it uh, where it's sort of holding the volume down and the power button and and then you I think you do volume up, volume down, power, and it does a reset, which is the, the same thing as I would normally do anyway. So I did a piece uh, sort of phone reset, which worked fine and brought everything back. And then I restored the backup from yesterday. So if you are if you are going to do it, be be careful. Make sure you've got a full backup, or um, if you did a reset on the previous release. So uh, there's a, the blog post on the Windows blog explains more about that. Um, They've said that deploying Silverlight apps through Visual Studio won't work in this build, but that will be fixed in the next release of uh, Visual Studio out next week. And there's still an issue where the tile for the Insider Hub remains under all apps, but doesn't open. Uh, the Insider Hub isn't included in this build. You need to get it back uh, in a future. Oh, it'll be back in a future flight. They've said, and use the Insider Hub on the PC as a workaround. So that's all the changes really. There's no. Nothing other major to report. It does feel nice and fast now. I've got the update on there. I say it's definitely faster than the, the previous build, um, which was faster than previous build, and so on. So I think um, 
the app is in, the whole um, operating system is ready to go. It was a bit sluggish when I first did the reset, but now it's working really well. So I would say this is probably ready to go, and I'm very tempted to put this on my 1520. So we'll see how I get along with that. Uh, as ever, we'll have more videos from uh, of the Windows 10 preview builds as they come out, and you can find them on our YouTube channel. I'm, I'm on Twitter at Dixon. Thanks for watching this one.